Americans spend more than $1 trillion annually on food. And 90% of that food is processed by machines. But many are looking for alternatives, hungry for the human touch. Like that of freewheeling Seamus Jones of Brooklyn, New York. His company, Brooklyn Brine, jars pickles the old-fashioned way. Started uh, Brooklyn Brine after being laid off as a chef at a restaurant. Once I was laid off, I realized I really enjoyed, um, you know, the process working with my hands, making pickles, and just kind of went headfirst into this. Seamus turns out at least 500 jars of pickled produce on a typical day. His current workspace is a restaurant that's only open for dinner. Every shift is a race against the clock. Today we're making our whiskey sour pickles. This is the spice blend. We start with the mustard seed and the chili flakes for heat. And the way that heat reacts with your palate, it opens up your taste buds to different flavors. The caraway is more of a savory spice that I'm putting in there. It's a nice blend between an anise and cumin flavor. And the coriander seed is for a lighter, kind of herbally note. Once the spices are blended, he lightly heats them. Basically, you're just toasting them until you can start smelling them. And that's when the seeds are releasing their oils. While the carefully chosen cucumbers are being prepared, Seamus readies the pickling solution. The secret ingredient for our whiskey sour pickle is the Finger Lakes Distilling Mackenzie Rye Whiskey. We put the whiskey in first to burn off the alcohol so people don't get drunk eating these pickles. Um, the intent of using the whiskey is really for the rye flavor. Apple cider vinegar, filtered water, and sea salt round out the brine solution. Now it's time to hand pack the jars. I'm adding three cloves of garlic in each jar, and Seamus is adding the spice mixture. Then comes the cucumbers and peppers. We hand pack every jar for a couple reasons. This is another step of quality control, making sure the freshest and finest Kirby cucumbers are going into each jar. Also, we want it to be aesthetically pleasing, so they're facing the flesh out and sliding the cayenne peppers in on the side so people can know that it's going to be a hotter pickle. After adding the brine solution and capping off each jar, Seamus and his crew give the pickles a nice hot bath. Basically, it's uh, creating an internal temperature of 190 degrees, um, which does two things. It kills bacteria, but also it's going to be pushing gases out. So as the jar cools down, it creates the seal, and it's in an anaerobic state, a lack of oxygen. All that's left now is the final packaging work. It's very hands-on approach to uh, making pickles, and I think the benefit is, is that you know we're inspecting the jars one last time before they go out. It ensures the highest quality. Orders have been great. We're moving into a new space, but right now the restaurant's opening, and we got to get out of here.